Hello leaders, Mickey Parsons again with The Workplace Coach. I just picked up a business magazine and it said, highlights, 93% of all business leaders wish they had more training in coaching their employees. So if that's true, and of course realizing that what's the old saying, 98% of all statistics are made up on the spot, um, I'm hoping to share with you one of my favorite models called the corporate conversation model. It is, it's actually one I learned early on at Coach U in the corporate coach training program, and I think you'll enjoy it. My hope is that it will help you become a more confident coach at work and uh, take you out of that 93% if you happen to be there. So first step is to establish the focus of the conversation. Now, I, I know that sounds very uh, elementary, but how many of us have been to meetings this very day that we weren't quite sure why we were there? What was our purpose? So don't leave anyone hanging. Let people know what the goal is of our meeting together. Sometimes we co-create the goal. Sometimes as the leader, we have a goal in mind, right? And of course, in developmental types of conversations, we're going to often let the employee lead those conversations. So step one, establish the focus. Step two is discover the possibilities. This is probably the most in-depth step, because at that point, we're going to really gather data that will help us with decision-making later on and choosing our actions. So we want to create awareness, we want to delve into the information and explore as much as we can possibly explore. And once everything is out on the table, we move into step three, which is plan the action. We may say something as simple as, well, based on everything we know right now, what is the best step forward? We, we really want the employee to commit to this uh, action because that ownership makes all the difference. In fact, it's that ownership piece that is why we coach anyway. It teaches folks to solve their own problems, engage their own resources, and own all of those solutions. And it gives us more time to be strategic Number four, step number four is remove the barriers. This is a key step that is often overlooked in traditional coaching models, but I think it's absolutely critical. We know in today's busy world that if I have to pass something from A to, to B, that it's gonna involve other people, and who knows when they're gonna get back with me, right? Even if I make a request and give them a timeline. So we may have to add 20 or 30% to our time estimate when we're involving other people. So we consider these things when we are planning to remove barriers. Believe me, it makes us so much more efficient if we do that in advance. And then of course, number five, step number five is review. We ask the employee, okay, we've talked about a lot today. Now let's review what are we going to do and by when. Often, if we've done a really good job coaching, it's what are you going to do and by when, and you let them recap, then there is actually a sixth step that is unwritten. It's follow-up, and as a leader, we need to make sure we grab our calendars right then and there and schedule a follow-up, whatever's appropriate, whether that's a day, a week, a month, a quarter, right? Plan the follow-up, or it probably won't happen, right? The other piece I would say, when you're practicing coaching is that you want to move from telling and advising more kind of traditional command and control types of, of leadership to listening and collaborating and asking great questions that move our employees forward. We also want to leave judgment off the table. We want to, we want to leverage strengths. We want to endorse them and their activities as much as possible. We also want to, we want to kind of move from managing for results to aligning with vision. Ultimately, all of these things really produce that ownership that we talked about before. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope that the corporate conversation model demystifies what type of uh, coaching you can do and do very effectively with your direct reports. If we can be of help, of course, don't hesitate to reach out. I look forward to seeing you again soon. <laughs>